Hello, in this tutorial I'm going to explain you how to set up a soft APO on the SP32 running the Arduino core. Uh, the board I'm using is a Fire Beetle SP32 uh, board from DF Robot and I will leave the link in the description in case you want to take a look at it. So, uh, regarding the soft APO functionality, uh, it's important to first uh, clarify what this means. Uh, the soft AP um, is like a mode uh, where the SP32 will act uh, kind of as a router and will host a um, Wi-Fi network. Nonetheless, uh, this is not like a hotspot. So basically, when you put your SP32 uh, working as a soft AP, um, it will not be connected to the internet. So this is uh, this has nothing to do like uh, uh, establishing a hotspot for other devices to connect to the internet or something similar. It's like the SP32 will host its own um, Wi-Fi network and other devices can connect to it. Uh, at first, this uh, may not be clear uh, why this is useful, but the simple use case that uh, I think uh, illustrates well uh, how this is important is um, in an IoT commercial product. Imagine that you have an IoT enabled device uh, that you want to sell to, to multiple customers and uh, that device needs to connect to their Wi-Fi network. Obviously, uh, in terms of security, uh, when uh, the client connects that device, it won't be able to, to connect to, to its own uh, Wi-Fi network because it will be protected uh, by some kind of password. And uh, furthermore, if there are uh, multiple Wi-Fi networks in the surroundings, then the user needs to, to specify which one is, is um, its own. Uh, so, uh, a very common approach, or a common approach that is uh, used uh, for the, the soft AP is basically uh, when you deploy that device or when you connect that device, it will host its own uh, Wi-Fi network. And for instance, uh, uh, it can run like a very simple uh, HTTP web server that serves some kind of configuration uh, web page or that can be reached by a, um, a smartphone application. Then the user can connect to this uh, temporary network uh, hosted by the, the device and then uh, the user can specify there what is its own home network and what is the password. And after that, the device will finally be able to connect to the final network that will be allow that will allow him to reach the uh, will allow it to reach the um, remote server or whatever functionality uh, the device will uh, will have. So basically, this is one of the possible use cases for uh, setting up a soft API. And there are a couple of libraries out there that. Um, basically use a soft AP to, to create this kind of uh, initial portal uh, to connect the device to the internet, uh, to the, sorry, to, to, um, to another network. Uh, and I will leave a link in the description so you can play around a little bit with it if you want. So moving on to the code. The code for setting up a soft API on the SP32 is really simple. Uh, we first need to include this Wi-Fi.edge library, which will be responsible by the uh, to to expose to us the Wi-Fi related uh, API. Uh, pretty much like we have to, we had to include this library in previous tutorials to connect to a Wi-Fi network. We will also need to include it to set up our own Wi-Fi network. Uh, now, uh, since uh, this is our own network, we need to specify its name. Uh, the technical term is SSID or Service Set Identifier, uh, but this is basically the, the network name. You can put here wherever you want. And obviously for security reasons, even if for a real use case, this is like a temporary, uh, temporary network, uh, it's a good idea to set a, a password um, so only authorized device that know this password can connect to it. So moving on to the setup function, we will simply open a serial uh, serial connection to output the results of our program. It's it's what we usually do. And then uh, to set up the soft API, it's really trivial. We just need to call this soft API method on the Wi-Fi extern variable that is available after we include the Wi-Fi.edge library. This is uh, basically the same variable we would use to connect to a Wi-Fi network. We will also use it to set the soft API with a call to this method. 
and then uh, as first uh, as first argument we pass the SSID we have defined this will be the the name of the network that the other devices uh, that scan the surrounding Wi-Fi networks will will see and this is the password that the devices need to know in order to connect to our uh, Wi-Fi network and pretty much this is what we need to do to set up the the soft API and then uh, when the procedure is finished, um, even if, if this uh, ASP32 is uh, hosting the network, it obviously needs to have like an IP so other, the other devices can connect to it and send, um, and send uh, for example, requests. In this simple example, we are just setting up the, the soft app, but imagine that on top of this soft app, we were operating a uh, HTTP web server. Then, after a device connects to the soft app, it needs to, to know the, um, the IP of the, in this case, of the router of the uh, ASP32 that is hosting the network in order to make HTTP requests to it. Uh, so, basically, this is achieved by calling this soft app IP method, which will print that IP. Uh, in this case, I'm leaving the main loop empty because I'm just setting up the soft app, so no need for more code here. I've already uploaded this code to my SP32, so if you have already done so, you can open your uh, Arduino with the serial monitor, and you should get here the IP um, of your device. So in, in this case, this is uh, the IP assigned to mine. Uh, I think uh, by default, this is always the one that uh, that is assigned. Uh, but at least uh, in in, uh, in all the tests I've been doing, if I don't specify it, this is what I get, but yours may be different. So, now if I open the available networks that my computer sees, as you can see here, there is an additional one called MySP32 uh, AP, which, which was the name that we have uh, um, uh, that we have defined for our network. And as you can see, I will be able to connect so it is verifying the, the requirements of the network. I'm not sure if it will ask the password to me because I've previously uh, connected to this uh, to a network with this name during my test. So probably, okay, it's already connected, but I can do this, like forget this network. Okay. Now, if I try to connect, it will ask me for a password. Okay. And if I do this, if I input my uh, the password, I can show you here. Sorry. Okay, if you can see it, it's the password we have defined in the Arduino code. So basically, now if I try to connect, uh, so this is in Portuguese. Sorry, it's my my operating system is in Portuguese, but uh, yeah, if you are on Windows 8 like me, it should be very similar the procedure. And basically, it is trying to connect to the uh, Wi-Fi network, and basically, it is now connected to it. So basically, this is it. This was just a simple introductory example, but as I've mentioned, then we can build a lot of functionalities on top of this soft API mod. Um, and hope you have enjoyed the tutorial. Thank you very much for watching.